Welcome back to the channel guys. Thanks again for joining me. If you're new to the channel, thank you for clicking onto the video. Be sure to hit the subscribe button if you find some value from the video throughout the course of the video. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you for joining us once again. Be sure to hit the bell notification icon so you see these videos as they come out because YouTube has its way of shadow banning cryptocurrency content. Now, today's video, I've got five altcoins that I love the look of for a trade in 2021. I do have a few more on the list, but I've got five that I think are in a better setup position now and a couple which we may have to wait for. I don't think you're gonna to mind too much. There's gonna be some that you're gonna like, some that you won't. Let's dive into these altcoins. But before we do, here's the channel. Go back and check out some of the videos of the trades that I've got on these videos, plus the news of Ripple, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and all the good stuff there. Uh, thank you to the Ripple fanboys disliking the videos. You guys are still giving engagement to the content if you weren't aware. So if you really want to hate on me, just don't watch the videos. Thank you to the other guys who are XRP investors and just appreciate a different uh, viewpoint to their own investment. That is what I'm all about. I want to understand it from both points of view, whatever it is I'm investing in, because I could always be wrong. With that said, this is not financial advice please do your own research. Maybe use this as a starting point to go and expand on your knowledge. All right, let's move across quickly to the coin market cap, all cryptocurrency pricing. Just a little more salt to the wound. Litecoin now surpasses Ripple on the, the standings, the ranking here. Litecoin number four, Ripple number five. Shall we do that again? Litecoin four, Ripple five. I think Ripple's going to keep dropping. I think uh, Polkadot is definitely going to overtake ripple look maybe i get a little bit of joy out of that but at the end of the day you're here to make money let's make money off these cryptocurrencies ethereum 110 billion bitcoin 614 billion i have no doubts these are going to drop at some point in the next week or so seeing as it's bitcoin's birthday on the 3rd of january there's always these little anniversary dates which set off people's minds anyway go back and check the charts on dates it's a very very big thing all right, what are my trades here? What am I looking at first? I got banned on the list here. You can see a potential breakout above this level of seven bucks. Doesn't take a genius to see that. Why I like it is that we've seen a higher low to this uh, previous low back here. Now, I'm not sure whether this bear market of banned has run its course. It could just bump up and continue to fade because band has a similar-ish pattern to link which is also another one on my list. Uh, I'm potentially going to take both trades, although it's in the same sector, so it's a bit of a, a gamble if you're gonna throw all your cash into basically the same area of cryptocurrency, because they could all go up at the same time and all go down at the same time. You're better off being in different areas, say like your smart contracts and oracles, because we've got Chainlink as an oracle, and band is also an oracle now they play different roles in the cryptocurrency environment but they essentially move similarly we can see here that we've had a peak in august uh, another peak in november and we're just starting to hold levels with higher lows again volume is not as strong as through these areas before it took off which is back in february and march and then also in 2019 in that mid-year rush there was a lot of high volume there so that's why i'm still concerned that they may not be ready yet but if they do break then we should be on alert so i've left this one here that we can just throw on an alert if you guys are not using trading view what are you doing <laughs> there's a link in the description down below uh, this is the paid version so i don't get all the pop-up ads and so if you want that it's like 12 or 15 bucks per month it's a worthwhile investment it's not that much Come on, you're getting some good gains from all of these uh, cryptocurrencies. So I'm gonna throw an alert on here. I want it around just over 15 bucks and then another one just over 16. Nice psychological level plus you can see the highs here. If it breaks those highs, then we could be on. Now, if I wanna just move that up a little bit to get those other highs in there, let's put it here. It's gonna come up, just hit save. Uh, with that said, I'm just gonna delete that one there, remove. And that's as easy as it is. So if we get above that level, I think we're on for another test of the highs. But like with always, like I always do, we're gonna check the BTC chart. You know, I talk about that a lot because it's very important to make sure that our assets, our cryptos 
are increasing in value against Bitcoin. Otherwise, what is the point of investing in them? If you're just in and out with fiat, you're buying these coins with fiat, selling out into fiat, no worries, do that. But if you're looking to hold hold them for, you know, who knows, a few months, a year, two years, whatever it is, uh, then you want to make sure that you are not losing Bitcoin value because you're otherwise you're wasting your time and you're better off of just buying Bitcoin and forgetting about the rest. So looking at Link, if it bought it at the top where the price was around 20 US dollars, you've lost all of that Bitcoin value. You've essentially lost, let's, uh, let's do it from the top to the bottom, 80% where our current price is 75% of your Bitcoin. So if you'd invested one Bitcoin, obviously it's a lot of money for some people, but if you invested one Bitcoin at the top, then you have 75% less now. You buy one Bitcoin's worth of link, now you've got 75% less in Bitcoin value. Just keep that in mind and use that for all of the charts. So I like link a little more than uh, band because we're seeing a low start to form uh, stopping volume, which I talk about a lot, that just means that we are getting a push down with high volume, but we're not getting a further push lower. And the closers are starting to get up the bar a little bit. So it's like the sellers are coming in, they're trying to push the price down. We have a lot of sellers because the volume is high. Uh, so we have to have a lot of buyers and sellers to increase the volume. So if we've got a lot of sellers coming in, pushing it down, the buyers are buying it up. Now we had the second week here. Again, sellers are coming in, trying to push the price down. The buyers are buying up and the, the, the low price, they're finding support there a lot more as opposed to all of these other weeks where the sellers come in, price comes down, and then it just continues to fall and fall and fall. Whereas now looks like we're starting to get to the beginning stages of some stopping volume in that trend. So it takes a little bit, say like a moving car is falling down a hill. Now we need to have some sort of stopping volume to stop that from picking up any more speed. So you can see it's picked up speed and now we need it to slow the hell down. How are you gonna do that? Get more people behind the car to push it back up the hill. That's uh, the analogy that I love to use with this. So that's what I'm seeing with Chainlink versus Bitcoin. Sure, I've lost out on a few bucks in its USD value, but Essentially, I want to make sure I'm earning as much Bitcoin, if not more Bitcoin, uh, just along with, I actually want to earn more Bitcoin than I do with the US dollars because eventually you want to trade it into some more Bitcoin. So that's our uh, band and link. There are the areas I've got you the uh, alerts. And then if they go against us, we definitely don't want them to fall beneath, say, around you know, I've got my alerts here at around ten dollars, so that's my support resistance levels. I don't want to see it come back to this this level, otherwise, I think we're going to probably head down to that five six bucks. I think it's crazy, but it is possible. So, link definitely on my cards. Band, eventually, I really like the look of band, especially as a project as well. Plus, I think there's a lot more upside to band because it has a much lower market cap. All right, I've gone on to those two enough. Our third that we're looking at is Cardano. Now we've seen huge volume on this peak. We're looking at Cardano, ADA, ADA versus Bitcoin first, just to refresh our minds that we've had a massive fall in its Bitcoin value. But again, this could be stopping volume from last week. I'm just gonna zoom in so you can see the difference. Uh, huge volume in that top and then it just faded, but we're getting some big volume again at the bottom and a higher close into the previous week's price action area. So see how the price, this is the bar, the price was in this area of uh, 600 Satoshis up to what's that, 700 Satoshis. This week, last week, sorry, this is this week, this is last week, the close was at 625. So it's finding support above 600. It pushes down into the 500 area, but as it closes, it closes into the 600. So that's a sign of strength. And we're starting to get a slower downtrend. It's starting to slow, so it could be a reversal here. It's not as strong as Polkadot. Sure, it's not as strong as Ethereum, but it is looking like it could be due for a turn and then a push up, and that will show it uh, on the US dollar chart where we might get this huge push from 20 cents to 40 cents and just blow everyone out of the water. And people are gonna jump in at the 40 cents. Maybe it squeezes through to 50 or 60 cents, but they'll probably buy the top and then dump out as it has its reaction, as it uh, corrects. It's always gonna correct, just like it pushes up here and corrects. The, the, the dumb money sells out through here, 
smart money buys up and then it goes on its next move. So that move just for education, 90% move. You nearly doubled your money from buying in this little section of 10 cents to nearly 20 cents. Now, if you bought at 20 cents because you just saw it pump and it drops against you by 30%, are you going to sell out? You throw five grand into this and within a week or two, you lose 1500 bucks. Are you going to sell out? If that's you, then this is not the game for you. You have to have a plan in mind and understand what is going on in the markets that we do have corrections. There's always going to be a correction. And generally with crypto, it's 30 to 50% in a bull market. Keep that in mind. That was our third one. Fourth that I'm really liking, I've got my notes here on the side, is Uni. Now Uni has been pushing up. It broke its resistance level, which is why I like it. I like to buy on the momentum as it breaks the momentum, not at the top of the momentum. And there's the breakout around that $4.34 ish 50. And we are now, how much percent above that? 25%, not far off. I think this has got a lot further to go, especially with Uni's market cap. So let's have a look at that. Uni, Uniswap market cap is 1.5 billion. Can this go a 5x from here to 7.5 billion? Potentially, it's a very good, probably if not the best, decentralized exchange. So Uni, I think, has the potential to move up a hell of a lot more. Where it, call it $6 is a nice higher round number. There's 100% to 12, that's gonna get us to 3 billion. Next skip up is around $18, that'll get us to 4.5 billion. So uh, if you're new to this trading and investing, always make sure you're looking at the market cap. That is the most important. This is not the most important. That's gonna help you get in and out of trades and understand what the price is of the, the, the coin or the stock or whatever it is you're trading. But the market cap is the most important because you wanna know if there is enough room for it to, to move up in big gains. So uh, 1.5 billion, I think we could definitely see this thing go to 10 or 20 billion throughout this bull market. Now, that's Uni, it has moved. I am buying more of uni because I was buying it through here. Yes, I also got a few uni through this point here, uh, accumulated and then on the break, buying more. That's a definite trade for me. Last is something I've talked about before. It is Doge. Now, only ever look at Dogecoin against Bitcoin value. Reason being is it's just pumps and dumps. So you don't wanna be caught holding the bag even though the dollar value continues to rise. Now, it's a great technique here, I love it. I have my alert set down beneath 20 Satoshi, so looking at this, buy up what I can through this area, and then I'm looking at multiple returns. So I bought last at uh, 18 Satoshis, so 36 gets me a doubling of my Bitcoin value. So if you'd bought one Bitcoin's worth of Doge at 18 Satoshis, as it gets to 60, uh, 36 Satoshis, and you sell, you're gonna double your Bitcoin. If it gets to 18, what's 18 on 36 is 54, tripled our Bitcoin. Then these are the next alert levels that I've got here. As it gets higher, it's getting a little bit more challenging to reach those highs because Bitcoin increases in value too. So these highs may begin to come down along the way and the fluctuation between the high and the low may decrease with Doge will only know in time, but this tends to pump a lot during altcoin bull markets. So uh, is this a trade? I think so, but definitely reduce your risk now that it already started making its move. This also may just be a small pump because let's finish off with some news. Dogecoin, here's the news. Meme coin soars after adult star says she's a hodler. So, an adult star on Twitter, probably I can't show too much of this because there's a whole lot of nudity. Angela White says, been holding my doge since 2014, much patience to the moon. As you can see from the chart, what does she come I mean, She's probably making millions off all of her porn or whatever she does. Uh, but if she's holding from 2014, she's made zero Bitcoin. She probably lost Bitcoin if she bought it way back here. But if she bought it at the bottom, she has made almost zero Bitcoin. She would have been better off just holding Bitcoin. but. Who cares? There's a, there's a picture of her. If you wanna go and see more of that and have something for the wank bank, go for gold. But essentially she's just put a 
post out on Twitter with to her. I can't. I won't click on her name because she has one. There you go. 1.2 million. 1.3 million followers. There's too many nudity pics on that. YouTube will uh, ban the video. Uh, so. 1.3 million people, that could be the reason for this mini pump. Therefore, we may see a little drop to around those low 20 sat areas. And at that point, yes, I'll be picking up more Doge. Otherwise, under 20, it's a perfect pickup. Now, that's my Cardano Doge Uni Band Link. They're my five. I've got two more, which we're going to keep an eye on. One has already made its move, and you've heard me talk about it many, many times before. This is DOT reason I'm going to continue to keep an eye on this is because it looks very nice against the Bitcoin value. It's just starting its pump up. It's just starting its move. And its USD value has just doubled from five bucks to $10. And I think we're on the start of it starting to, to move up even higher. Because if we search for it and look at its coin market cap, its overall market cap, it's at 9 billion. This is a similar project to Ethereum, solving other problems, scalability, speed, fees, etc. Uh, we know Ethereum's now 110 billion, call poker dot 10 billion. Yes, there's a bit of room to move. Will it catch up to Ethereum? I doubt it, but it does have room to move to get to Ethereum. Plus the rest of the market as it increases, it's got a lot more room here. So can Ethereum get to a trillion? I think so. Can this get to 100 billion? I definitely think so. So I think there's still a good 10x in this and I will be adding to my position of dot. Uh, will we see a pullback? That's a difficult one. So just remember what we talked about when we were looking at uh, the previous stocks, Link, etc. If we're buying in here and it does retrace because markets do, cryptocurrency always does pull back 20, 30%, maybe to these highs of 35%, maybe 40%. I doubt it, but if it does, don't be the one who buys up here and sells down here. Don't buy the highs and sell the lows. Keep an eye on the charts, keep an eye on the news, that's what we're doing here on the channel. All right, that is the sixth and quickly onto my seventh, which hasn't moved yet, but I absolutely love. That is Wi-Fi BTC. Now you don't have to buy one of these tokens because they are very expensive. Uh, it is $25,000 for one Wi-Fi. I won't get into what it's all about. Just gonna look at the chart for today and we will talk about it in other videos. It's a fantastic project. I like the look of it, but it may just be needing some more time to rest after this huge pump that it went from two, three grand, it was actually even in the hundreds of dollars, all the way up to $44,000, nearly 44,000. So I think there may need to be some time for this just to wear out, take its time, build accumulation again, and then start to move. So I look at the Bitcoin chart, Wi-Fi versus Bitcoin, it looks like it's coming to a bit of a low. So I'm definitely keeping my eye on this level of 0.5 of a Bitcoin, which is where it, it uh, first bounced to in early November. And it hasn't done much since then. It just bounced, got to again, 1.6 1. Bitcoins value. And now it's dropped again half its value to 0.75 of a Bitcoin. So I think it's still going to move something like this and just start to, to lose its momentum until accumulation happens and then we see the takeoff again. And this thing moves very, very fast. So keep Wi-Fi on the list. I'm definitely keeping it on my list. That's my top five altcoins for this early part of 2021. As we see, Bitcoin hit 35,000 US dollars. Bitcoin hit, uh, sorry, Ethereum hit 1,000 US dollars. You can see the ones that I'm definitely getting in on first. There are a few that I'm waiting and then other ones that need a little bit more time than what we've seen. So. Thanks again for watching. If you did find some value, you know what to do. Hit the like button down below. Get us through that YouTube algorithm. I'll catch you guys at the next video. Be sure to share the content with other friends, family who are looking to get into the cryptocurrency space. And I'll leave it there. Catch you at the next video. Check out the other videos in the meantime. I'll see you then. Until then, have more fun to get more done. Peace out, guys.